Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. We are doing another week in my life in New York City. I'm excited because this one I have a little bit of a theme for. We're gonna call it a wellness week in my life. Um, a little spoiler alert, not spoiler alert. I talked about it in my last video and on Gals on the Go podcast, which is my podcast with my best friend, Brooke Michio. My word of the year is, drum roll please, wellness. <laughs> I just really want to focus on my mental and physical health this year. This week, I have a pretty open week work-wise. I think a lot of offices are still closed for the holidays, and it's just kind of a slow start to the year, which I'm really, really not mad about. So I'm really thankful I got some gift cards for Christmas. I got like a massage, a spa gift card. I need to get a pedicure. I'm gonna go to the chiropractor. I'm going to a dance class later tonight to get my body moving. I just thought this week I really just wanted to dedicate to my wellness and, and going forward, but I really wanted to start the week off. My weeks aren't always like this, but this week is going to be so I'm really looking forward to it. So with that, I had the most leisurely morning. I started the day with my hatch, my new hatch alarm that like wakes you up with like a sunrise light and beautiful music. I had a lovely shower, I did my ice roller, I wore eye patches, lit a candle, watched The Bachelor, which I haven't done in so long, journaled, used my planner, like just really had a lovely morning and a great start to the day and I'm really blessed that I can do that. Now it's 30 degrees outside in New York City. We've got some errands to run. And then like I said, later today I'm going to a hip hop class. I have been dying to get back into dance. I danced my whole life. And there's so many amazing studios in New York City, so I thought it would be a really fun thing to do. Um, so first off though, we've got some errands to run. Got my gals in the go tote bag. We are about to head over to Gucci actually. My grandpa, my sweet grandpa for Christmas, out of the blue got me a Gucci belt for Christmas, which was so kind. However, I already have a black and gold one that actually he got me for graduation, so I think he just knows that I like Gucci, um, which was so generous and so kind, but honestly, I just, I was like, I, you spent so much money on this, and I don't think I'm gonna wear it a lot because I already have the other one. So I'm about to head over to Gucci and return this belt, and I talked to him about it, and he was like, oh my gosh, get whatever you want, like, that's something you would actually wear. And I've been really wanting the Gucci tights. And I think they have the Gucci tights in my size at Brookfield Place, which is also one of my favorite areas. It's in Financial District. Um, so I'm gonna go to that Gucci. <laughs> Just grabbing a ginger shot. We got a ginger shot a day, keeps the doctor away. Um, and then right from there, we're gonna zoom over to the West Village. My friends are moving from the Upper East Side um, downtown. Don't know exactly where yet, but they called me because they're working and I told them I'm always happy to help and they want me to tour an apartment for them in the West Village because they want to see how the lighting is because they think one of the rooms is a basement. So they just, they want to make sure it's doable and they know I'm like lighting queen. Like I, I will be very honest with them and the pictures look so cute though. I'm really excited. I'm, I'm so excited to tour an apartment. So maybe I'll give you guys some sneak peeks as well, but I might be touring more apartments for them too. So I'm really looking forward to that. A gal on the go type of day. I'll show you guys my outfit here in a second, but we're gonna take a ginger shot. I ordered some ginger shots from Press Juice Street at the beginning of the week. I think it's the move. Um, so, cheers baby, woo, wellness week. <laughs> that feels great, <laughs> woo. That one, Whew. that burned in the best way. We are all bundled up. I've got this gray Ghani beanie on, this huge um, jacket. It's keeping me so warm. My grandma sent me this. These are long sleeve shirts called Cuddle Duds. How cute of a name. And they're meant for layering, but I didn't feel like layering anything on top of it, so just this. Sweatpants are from Aritzia. Oh my gosh, they have a stain. And it's just gonna happen, so whatever. Gals in the go tote, high socks, and then my Hoka sneakers i will link them down below because a lot of people have been asking about them so yeah that's the fit that's the look let's go do some returns some exchanges and some apartment touring we love that let's go I scored two things from Gucci. I'm so pumped. The tights were a lot less expensive than I thought. So I was able to get the tights and a scarf, some winter accessories. 
very excited. I'll show you guys when I get home, but I had to come outside. Outside of Brookfield Place is so amazing. I always like to walk over here. You can see the Statue of Liberty. Like, look how gorgeous. You guys know I love being by the water. And it feels, it's cold, but the sun's out, so it feels <sighs> incredible. This is so nice. Can you guys see the Statue of Liberty? It's right there. I don't know, I can see it. <laughs> All right, so I just left the apartment. That was so fun, it's so cute. The lighting is indeed just terrible. Um, and I know that was really, really important to them. So that kind of stinks, but it's in the cutest area, you guys. I am so lost. I do not go to the West Village often. I'm gonna try and figure out where I am and then head home, eat some lunch. And we're gonna go dance our little booties off. Just got back, made some chicken noodle soup, finishing Bachelor episode one. <laughs> All is well. It's a Gucci Christmas. Guys, I don't want to unwrap this because it's so beautiful. Ugh. But I do want to be able to show you guys what I got. So we can do a little unboxing together. So these are the tights that I went in for. Um, I'm so excited. I just got the black ones with the small G. Let's see. And for reference, I got a size medium. Gosh, they look so beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I thought this would be great for wearing under a dress or a skirt or something like that for the winter. I hope it doesn't rip because these are a little bit pricier, but I've had my eye on these for a couple seasons now. And then I'm so excited. They have some beautiful scarves at Gucci, which I didn't necessarily realize. And it's cold out there. So I found this beautiful one. Cedric at Brookfield Place is the best. We had so much fun trying on all the scarves. Um, so this is one side and then the other side is this. So it's like the smaller G's, but it's just so stunning. I love it. Here, I'll show you guys it on. I just think this is so cute and I love how it's reversible and it's comfy. And oh, this is also good for like the airport. Um, and it just goes with a lot of things that I wear. So I'm really excited about those two things. And I'm, again, so grateful to my gracious grandpa. Well, I call him Pops for getting me this. It's the gift that keeps on giving. It was so much fun getting to shop again. <laughs> All right, so I'm in my little hip hop outfit. I, <laughs> this is what I used to wear when I would go to hip hop class. And I literally went and looked at the choreographer's Instagram to see if people still wear this to dance class. Um, I think I'm still in the clear. I like wearing sweatpants when I do hip hop and I've also found I really enjoy dancing in Converse for the ankle support. Um, so we're gonna do that. And then this top is from Aloe, wearing a baseball hat as well. And then I also have just this white, really soft, um, thin hoodie that my mom got me for Christmas. Cause sometimes when I'm warming up, I like to have a jacket on and then eventually take it off. So yeah, I'm just gonna wear this and then layer over top the same black puffer I was wearing earlier. And yeah, I'm really nervous. I'm about to leave because I want to get there early because I don't know, stretch and check in. Like I don't, I don't necessarily know where this place is. I think it's near Bryant Park. That's the train station that I'm getting off at. So opening the blinds. So yeah, one of my New Year's goals: get back into dancing. We're just getting right back to it. I hope I love it, and then I just go every week. That would be really fun. So let's go. Hello guys, I just took a the shower, washed my hair. I was so cold, so I like thawed out in the shower. Um, dance was so much fun. I'm so happy I went. It was so, like if you guys go to dance or if you grew up dancing or whatever point you are in your life with dance, walking in it was just like so much, I don't know if nostalgia is the right word, but I walked in, I put my, you know, stuff in the cubbies just like I did when I was in like middle school and college, I, all the years. And then like I find a spot on one of the lines in the studio and stretch and you're like, everyone's like sizing each other up, like, hey, what's up? You know, like we're all about to dance together. I don't know, that whole like stretching before dance class was just like such a memory for me. I don't know. It was just like a moment I had there. I was like, holy shit, here I go. But um, it was blast. I like don't even know the name of the song that we danced to, but it was really fun. 
Um, yeah, I was rusty. I, I, I think I can like do the moves well. I have like a natural rhythm, I like to think. However, um, I forgot how hard it is to like remember a dance because they, um, she at least would like teach many moves at a time and we'd go over them. But for me, I like to do like, you know, two to four moves and then practice that sometimes and then add more, you know? So it's just been a minute since I've done that. Um, but it was like a test of your brain memory and then like I would trip myself out, but it was so much fun. I had a blast and like we started with like 30 minutes of stretching and like doing little grooves to get warmed up, which was really fun. Got my um, heart pumping, got some, got some good cardio. So I'm really glad I went. It was so much fun. And the studio was literally like in Times Square essentially. So I walk out and I was like, oh, hello world. I got to see the 2022 ball and it was a lovely little moment I had. And I took the subway back. I grabbed a sandwich at the bodega. And now I'm working on tomorrow's video because I like didn't mean to, but I haven't posted videos in a while. So um, I'm posting my first video of the new year. And I'm also working on our Gals on the Go YouTube channel because we're posting on YouTube tomorrow. So just lots being done. Drinking a kombucha as always. So yeah, I'm going to, I need to get my blue light glasses and focus on my computer, edit this video get it done and but for this video i will see you guys in the morning okay you guys <laughs> quick update before i go to bed i got this on amazon a couple days ago and i thought i'd try it i ideally wouldn't go to sleep in this but that's what i'm literally doing right now because i washed my hair and it was you're supposed to use it on damp hair I look freaking hysterical. I feel like I look like I should be in Bridgerton or something. Um, but I got this thing on Amazon. I'll link it below. Oh, wow. It's a lot longer on this side. But yeah, you basically take your damp hair and just pull sections back around. Um, and then grab a new section and back around. I should have filmed it, but I didn't know I didn't know where it was that was going. But I think I'm actually going to dedicate to it. I don't think this is the most ideal thing to sleeping. So, updates to come in the morning if it stays on. I'm gonna get in bed and read. Um, I'm reading November 9th by Colleen Hoover. So far, so good. I can't look at myself right now. This is so funny! But I finished editing the video. I do have a video editor, but she was traveling and I wanted to give her some time off. So, um, I edited this video, or my last video, which is my reset with me for the new year, and I'm really proud of it. I got inspired by her. So, hopefully you guys liked that vlog. I'm listening to my 528HZ frequency, eating a huge bag of baby carrots. Life is good. See you guys in the morning. Okay, that was just not happening in bed. I had this on for 20 minutes. Look at this. Uh, if I had kept it in, you probably have to touch up the front pieces because they kept falling out. But like... This looks like I took a wand to my hair. This is awesome and no heat, not sponsored. I will link this below. You all need to get it before it sells out on Amazon because I mean, look at those curls. Are we like appreciating this right now? Because I am, wow. Okay, link below. Good night guys. <laughs> Just filled up all of my supplements for the week. This literally felt like playing Mancala on Club, Club Penguin. If you know, you know. Good morning, you guys. I just showered, got dressed for the day. We are headed to get a pedicure. I haven't gotten a pedicure in so long because I really have just been wearing closed-toed shoes. But I am getting like a, like a relaxing pedicure, so that'll be nice. And it's nice to look down at your toes and they're like painted and pretty, so I haven't had painted pretty nails, toenails in a really long time. Um, and it's part of my wellness week. Um, so yeah, we're gonna build a little outfit together. It's raining outside, mm, but rain actually makes it a little bit warmer outside, I've noticed. Um, so I'm wearing this top from Zara. I quite literally wear it all the time. I have many colors. <laughs> Sweatpants are from Storettes a while ago, but I, I wonder if my leg's gonna get cold. 
um, just wearing some sneakers because I get a gel pedicure. Not always, but today I'm getting a gel pedicure because I knew I'd be wanting to put on some sneakers after. Hair is in a ponytail. I'll style it later. I just didn't feel like it because it might get wet. Earrings, jewelry, the normal stuff. And then we're gonna add my new Gucci scarf. I'm so excited. I love this thing. It's so cute. Should I like actually, oh, I'm gonna wait to bundle up in case I need it when I'm out there, but you know, just to keep this area warm. Then I'm gonna wear the same puffer coat that I wore yesterday because it has a hood. Um, Hopefully it works. Yeah, perfect. Cause I don't, I hate holding umbrellas. I mean, I do it. Cause you gotta do what you gotta do. But if you have a hood, might as well use it. Also, I'm gonna take my tree down by tomorrow, either today or tomorrow. Cause technically January 6th is when it's like when you really need to have the um, Christmas decorations down. Here's the final fit. I've got my gals on the go tote as well. Let's go get a pedicure. I'm trying out a place on Ludlow and Lower East Side called Zeno Nail Bar. I will let you guys know how it goes. I got a pedicure, got groceries, got myself flowers. That's like the epitome of having your life together in my book. Like if I'm grocery shopping and I get myself flowers, that means I'm having a good day. Cause like if I go grocery shopping, I'm in a rush. Like I'm not gonna like, oh, what flowers to get? So um, I'll do a little grocery haul. I went to Union Market. They always play jazz music in there and it makes me so happy. Um, I got some white roses. Mmm, it smells delightful. I just got random stuff um, for dinner tonight. We have chicken that Ryan bought the other night, so we're gonna make chicken, green beans, and rice and have a little date night and potentially go see the new Spider-Man movie because I'm not like a big Marvel person, but I love Spider-Man. It's like my favorite ride at Universal Studios too. And apparently the ending is amazing. So I actually got some snacks because I usually don't really buy snacks um, a lot, but I found at night I kind of just want like a little something to munch on when I'm like doing work. So I got Annie's Cheddar Bunnies, memory unlocked from my childhood, and some avocado oil, sea salt potato chips. I got one kombucha because <laughs> I'm walking kind of far and it's heavy, so I was like, let me just think this through. I got some apple go-go squeezes. They're such a great snack. They're literally just like little applesauce. I've gotten this at Union Market before. This is chicken noodle soup. It's so good. And then I got some frozen green beans just to have. I got three. I believe these are Macintosh apples. I really like those. I'm gonna start making my yogurt parfaits again in the morning or even like as a snack, whatever. Chobani non-fat Greek yogurt, plain. Blueberries, raspberries, and then I use granola. Oh my gosh, I hope I have granola. And then for tonight's dinner, I got some fresh green beans because I know we're gonna make them later. I just like to have frozen vegetables in my freezer. I got some um, chopped garlic or whatever. Yeah, organic chopped garlic. I'm gonna, you guys always roast me. When I cook vegetables, I literally just put olive oil and I think it's delicious, but I'm gonna try with garlic tonight and then watermelon because it's like my favorite food ever. So yeah, that's my little mini grocery haul. I'm all here for just, you know, stopping by the grocery store on the way back and grabbing stuff for that night, that day. Uh, I also mentioned in my last vlog, Brian and I got tickets to the national championship game in Indianapolis next Monday. I am so excited. George is playing Alabama. Um, his boss got us tickets, which was so generous, so kind. So I'm about to book um, our hotel room for that. There's like none left, but... I just talked to Ryan and we figured out a hotel. And if you guys have any Indianapolis recommendations for like dinner, please let me know or anywhere we need to go because um, I'm very familiar with the Midwest, but not really Indianapolis. All right guys, Brooke and I are FaceTiming right now. We're about to make our Gals on the Go podcast video component live. I'm so nervous. Are you gonna, will you do it? Yes, you want me to do it? Yeah. Okay, did you hit save on your end like it's all updated? Yes. Okay, cool. Here we go. Ready? Ready? Should I do it as a premiere or just post it? Well, wouldn't that, just post it, I think. Yeah, okay, cool. 
I never do premieres, I just wasn't sure. Okay, ready? All right, we just made it live! Woo! Yay! Yeah. Oh my gosh, we did it. Um, oh my gosh, I hope people, we already have some subscribers, so. I know, people were going, that was so exciting this morning seeing that. I know, it looks so good, the thumbnail, I'll show you guys, it looks so fire. Like, it looks like, it's so funny. I love the funny screenshots, honestly. They look so animate. Yay! Put on your story. This is so crazy. Gals in the Go is on my TV right now. Guys, go watch it. YouTube.com slash Gals in the Go podcast. This is nuts. Working vibes right now. I can't get over how cute the channel page is. Ah, this is so exciting. Just finished all my computer work for the day. I'm re-watching the old Sex in the City. Um, it's just so good. And I decided to do my hair with the Dyson Airwrap. I love that thing, you guys already know that though. About to start making dinner, Ryan's coming over to help in a sec. We're doing chicken, rice, and green beans tonight. So I'm gonna get started. He's just finishing up work. And then I think we're gonna go see the new Spider-Man movie. I think that's the move. All right, dinner tonight, we've got our green beans, chicken, and then rice. And Ryan. Hey. <laughs> My camera's teamed up. And Ryan. Hey. Bon appetit, we may begin to eat. <laughs> you guys, I saw this tweet I'm cleaning up after dinner, and it said, being an adult is just a series of wiping the counter, and it's so true. I, I think I literally retweeted it. I thought it was so funny, because I feel like I'm always like, oh, Missed a spot or like, oh, it's wet. I gotta wipe it down. I don't know. Maybe it's just me and like trying to stay clean, but I just thought that was really funny. And I just had to share that with you all. Oh, you're too tall. <laughs> He's too tall. All right, we're taking ginger shots before the movie. Well, he's taking a wellness shot, but it has ginger shot in it. I just didn't want to give him one of these. <laughs> it has ginger in it and oil, oregano, <laughs> and elderberry, I think. Oh, elderberry, hell yeah. Yay. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cheers to our wellness. And what do we say after we take the shot? That feels great. That feels great? Yeah, so say it after you take it. Cheers. Cheers. That feels great. You gotta say it, you gotta say it. Get it out. <laughs> that feels great. <laughs> it's a beanie day. Gang, gang. Going to see Spider-Man. See you guys <laughs> after. Don't text. Good morning, you guys. It's Thursday. And I'm just like in a weird mood. <laughs> I was supposed to go to the chiropractor very soon. I talked about that in the beginning of this video. I wanted to have a wellness week and I am. Definitely. I woke up feeling really anxious for whatever reason. I don't know always. I opened up more about this on the podcast this week and I just am so thankful to all of you who reached out to me via DM saying that you've experienced or do currently experience the same things that I do because it was really, really comforting and obviously I don't wish that upon anyone but it is nice to know like I am not alone in what I feel because growing up I thought anxiety was the same for everybody and it was just being stressed or nervous and that's definitely not always the case. Um, I've only recently developed anxiety like in college and I actually experience anxiety more physically and I just have it as a goal this year to talk about it more with you guys because I've talked about my anxiety in the past but I've never really described what I feel, but just opening up about it on the podcast made me realize it doesn't make it any worse. It just honestly allows me to know that I'm not alone and to, I got so many messages of you guys like, thank you so much, I needed to hear that today because anxiety is scary and having a panic attack, which is something that I've been dealing with, not often, often, um, I've been able to like self-soothe and for me it's the physicality of it all like this morning I woke up and I got like I get nervous about going to doctors and chiropractic I don't know why I just like get nervous about stuff like that for no reason It's just something that I 
don't get excited about. I don't think a lot of people do. But, and then I had like a heart palpitation, which is completely normal, like for anxiety and everything. But I like immediately freaked myself and I'm like, oh my gosh, something's wrong with me. And then I'm like, so I didn't make coffee this morning. I had tea and I'm just taking it slow. And I had like a call this morning and then I was just like, oh, it's too much between this and the chiropractor. So I canceled the chiropractor, which I felt so bad to do, but I just, I needed to have this alone time. Um, and so I don't know, sometimes this just happens to me and it, it's so crazy how anxiety can affect your day and I've literally canceled plans because of it. Not all the time, um, cause I find that for me personally, when I'm around other people, it kind of makes me forget about it and I'm not like in my own head. Um, so that's nice, but it also is good to have alone time and um, I'm gonna text my therapist and be like, can we chat soon? Um, but yeah, this is kind of rambly, but I don't want to hide it. I deal with it. I'm, I love my life. I'm so thankful for it. I love the people in it, but time to time I do experience this and I want to share with you guys. And that's also why another reason I haven't like gone back to spin classes is because when you're in a spin class, and thank you guys so much for DMing me because it meant the world to me that I am not alone in this because I feel crazy sometimes. I don't, I like get on the bike and I'm working out and when you're doing cardio, your heart naturally picks up a little bit, which is good for you. But in my head, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't slow my heart rate down. I'm getting shortness of breath and then I have a panic attack. So that is why I literally haven't been to a spin class since like earlier this year because I'm scared that I'm going to have a panic attack and I'm in that room and I, I, I could walk out, but like I literally used to be a spin instructor and now I don't know. So that's that. <laughs> um, and that's kind of like what I'm going through and I going to that dance class was really awesome. It got my heart rate up a little bit and I was able to control my breathing for the most part but I really just hope that this year I get back to spin and just getting back to working out and feeling good because like after dance, I felt so good and I felt really good yesterday because I had worked out. But like today I should probably go for a walk or something to get my body moving. I don't know, kind of a stream of consciousness, but I didn't want to just be like, I canceled my chiropractor appointment because I am late, like I'm whatever. Like, no, I'm, I'm just having a funky morning and I wanted to share that with you guys and be real because that's what I'm here for. But so right now I'm listening to my 528 HC frequency, positive vibe music, eating an apple, drinking lots of water to hydrate. I'm gonna take my supplements. <laughs> I'm watching that movie New Year's Eve because I never watched it this year. But I think I need to take out my Doing Well Daily Planner and plan and not just plan, like journal, because on one page it's like I'm thankful for my affirmations and just kind of like put it out there. And then on the other side of the page, like to write some things down that I want to get done today. I don't have a crazy busy day, which I'm thankful for. Um, I want to take down my tree today, because today's January 6th. I want to go for a walk. Tonight, me and some of my friends are literally hanging out in Brooke's living room, and I'm so excited. We just want to do more of like, can we just hang out in someone's living room? Like, do we have to go to dinner? So I'm gonna just take the next few hours to myself, take a shower, journal, and I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. But thank you for listening. Hi guys, so I spent the morning doing things that just fueled me. I cleaned, which is weirdly very soothing for me. I showered, I listened to lots of Taylor Swift. And I am gonna go to the place that I found brings me the most peace, at least in the city so far. Not Central Park, not a park, but um, the South Street Seaport in Financial District. I don't know what it is, but every time I go, if I'm feeling anxious or just not myself, I go, they have these like amazing benches that kind of lean back a little bit so it's very comfortable. And I sit there by the water for like a long time. And um, so I'm gonna go do that. I really, really love it over there. I think just being by the water is so healing for me. What am I doing? 
my scarf. Let me actually warm up. I'm just really allowing myself this week to do whatever the heck I want. And I'm really thankful that I do have that kind of flexible of a schedule. But as much as I love the holidays and everything, it's not necessarily like I relaxed for sure. But there's so much emotions that comes with being home, good and bad. And you, it's not like you get all this alone time because you're with your family. At least I was, which I'm really thankful for. So I'm kind of taking this week to kind of have myself a week. I'm just kind of listening to my body and doing whatever feels best. So I want to walk to the seaport and then from there and just sit there for a long time and bring some kombucha. And then from there, we'll just see. We'll just see how the day goes. Again, I'm so grateful that I have this flexibility today, but it's chilly out, but it is sunny. Should I bring some sunglasses? I was charging up my AirPods. Got the sunnies. Nothing crazy of an outfit. Kind of just living in this coat. And yeah, let's go relax, sit by the water. I'm excited. Five minute walk ended up in Soho on Elizabeth Street now stopped at Le Labo and I got another Santal 33 or no Santal 26 candle and a Santal 33 perfume because I love the scent so much I'm trying to make it like my signature scent along with a lot of other girls but it's just incredible and I just enjoyed going in there and scent in general I just it really relaxes me weirdly and now I think I'm gonna have a main character moment like today and now I'm gonna have a main character moment not that today hasn't been a main character moment in itself but I'm on a ramen kick <laughs> so we're gonna go to my favorite ramen place on Clinton Street in Lower East Side called Ivan Ramen and they have like a little bar area you can sit if you're eating there alone we're gonna have some ramen and also just anything hot like I don't know I feel like the act of slurping really relaxes me and so we're just gonna try it out <sighs> and then we're gonna go take down the tree I've been putting it off so much <laughs> tree is down this is so sad I've got all of my accessories in there the boxes from my little labo things today fit the ornaments my star and skirt I just took my wreath down too. my building is doing um a Christmas tree recycling thing for wreaths and trees you just have to um take everything off that's not the tree and then they take it somewhere where they recycle it so it doesn't go to waste Ugh, I hate to see Christmas go but the wreath that I had right there it's like a peace wreath that my mom gave me just for like the month of January. I put it out here. And I really like it. I won't keep it there forever, but a little piece on earth, you know? Well, that was a little messy. <laughs> Just put on my Barefoot Dream socks that my aunt got me for Christmas. I literally have this blanket and I feel like the blanket is just on my feet. Barefoot Dream's blanket on. About to turn on the TV. I heard that the new Sex and the City reboot episode is out, so I will be watching. My room is purple right now and it's making me so happy. I just finished all my emails. Okay, I have to get out. It's too purple in here. Um, and got all my work done for the day. 
I am just feeling so refreshed. I'm just so thankful for today. And now I'm going to go be social because I haven't done that at all today, but it's good. It's good to do that. I'm about to head over to Brooke's living room. Me, Margo, Margo, Katie, and Brooke um, are gonna have our little living room hangout. And Margo, Margo Oshry is bringing Magnolia, her little dog, which I'm so excited about. I love some dog time. So I'm about to head over. Brooke is so sweet and is making a cheese board. But yeah, I'm all bundled up. Oh, that's why I started vlogging. I mean, I have to tell you guys that. And I just found out that there's a 100 percent chance of snow tonight. I'm so excited. It's like flurried a couple times since I've been here, but we're expecting up to five inches of snow. I doubt it's gonna be that much, but I'm so excited. So I'm like looking up in the sky and I did look at the radar and there is snow like coming our way. So I don't want to jinx it. I hope this vlog ages well, but I'm very excited for some snow. And I know I posted on my Instagram story and people were DMing me like, it's gross. It's gonna be gross. Like you're not gonna be excited. I just moved here, I've lived in Florida my whole life, let me have this moment, and then I'll be annoyed with it in a couple months. But for now, I'm going to enjoy it. So, sorry about that. Let's go hang out. Guys, look at this host right now. Thank you, I really tried. This is so guys. cute, and the roses you shouldn't have. Oh, this is <gasps> oh, who is it? I'm guessing Katie. <laughs> I was right, I said I'm guessing Katie. I'm like, it's cupcake time. Yes. Shout out to Melissa herself. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. No. A real one. She's a real one. <laughs> Guys, I just woke up and I came out to my living room. I filmed it on my Instagram story. It is like, it's actively snowing and there's snow on the ground. It literally looks like Winter Wonderland. Guys, like, oh my God. Like there's snow on my like window thing out there. This is so crazy. There's like snow everywhere. I, I don't know what to do now. Like do I go run outside and play? Like I wish this was lasting all day. I'm literally going to get a massage this morning. Which I'm so excited about, but oh my god. Oh my god, it's snowing. Oh my god. We're all bundled up. We're gonna go play in the snow. First, I'm gonna go help Ryan film his snow day egg flip. Friday egg flips are always his craziest. Um, he just like puts it on a Snapchat story, but today it's a snow day egg flip, so. And then I told him in exchange, he has to take a picture for me outside because, I mean, it's a snow day, right? So. Snow. Egg flip successful. The fourth roommate. Good boy. Yes, yes, yes. Ryan's got the good boots on. I'm wearing fake Uggs from Amazon. This is so. Snowball. <laughs> Woo! I just threw a snowball. I just threw a snowball. snowball. Ryan and I just went on a little snow adventure. It was so fun. I have OG Gossip Girl on right now. Just made some oatmeal and I am getting all my stuff together because we're going to air Ancient Baths. I'm so excited. This was a Christmas gift from my dad, which is so, so, so sweet. So I get like a massage and then I get to like sit in all the hot tubs and stuff. I don't even know. I have to get a bathing suit. I am so excited. We got um, this gift card for our creative director, Emma. And when I, I showed it in the vlog, when I went there to even just get the gift card, it was so relaxing in there, so I'm very, very excited. It'll be a great start to the day. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting all my stuff together, but let's go to the spa. Hi, you guys, so it's a lot later now. I just stopped by Starbucks. I got a little egg and cheddar box. I'm actually doing my makeup here in the studio. So since Ryan and I are going to, did I even talk about how amazing, oh my gosh, the spa was absolutely amazing. A lot of people asked me in my DMs, like, is it weird to go alone? I went alone. It was definitely a lot of couples. I feel bad. I like didn't even think to go with Ryan, but it was just such a lovely solo experience. And there was other people there alone as well. Um, it was so nice and I got a massage. I'm just so thankful like that I got to do that because that was truly magical and definitely worth it. They had like cold plunge tubs, they had hot tubs, they had normal temperature tubs. They had a floating one that was supposed to mimic the Dead Sea. I'm literally on my tippy toes. Um, where you like float really well and there was a steam room too. So 
it was a blast and I just got a blowout. My hair feels so nice. Um, but yeah, since Ryan and I go to the national championship on Monday, Brooke and I, that's when we normally record, we're recording the podcast today. And obviously we have a video component now as well. So we're in the studio on a Friday night. So yeah, Brooke will be here in a second. I've got the mirror. I'm gonna do my makeup really quick and then we're gonna record. All right, we just finished filming the podcast. It's so much fun doing it here. I think you guys are going to love this week's episode. We talk all things girl talk, like the icks, green flags, red flags, turn offs. Um, and then we kind of get more deeper about body confidence and Instagram and kind of that whole realm So I think you guys are gonna really like this episode, but I think I'm gonna end the vlog here I'm gonna go back and make some food. I'm so hungry. I love you guys so much Thanks so much for watching this wellness week in my life because that's my word of the year So I thought it'd be fun to start off but more vlogs to come Just comment down below any video requests that you guys have subscribe to the gals on the go YouTube channel or listen to us on anywhere that listen to a podcast and yeah and subscribe here obviously love you guys so much see you guys soon bye